What's happening, people? What's going on? Man's on my Daryl Dixon right now, you get me? My Daryl Dixon, because he handled business on this episode. He handled it. He went in. Oh, yes, he did. Maybe. So we see what the whisperers do when, boy, you fucked up and you messed up. We saw where that letter came from and who that letter was for. Big surprise, you get me? I wasn't ready for that. I thought it was the whisperers, but it ain't. And then we see... Oh my, Beta and Daryl. Better and Daryl. We see Better and Daryl get at it. I'm gonna lie. I thought Beta was gonna whoop him first time, and then uh, Daryl will come back by the end of the season and get his revenge. Or maybe into season ten, he'll get his revenge some point. But yo, it is what it is. But yeah, man, we see at the end of the last episode when Daryl and Connie they come in to get uh, Henry. But they had to take Lydia as well. Because that Henry, I swear, still, 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 he's got so he's got some redeeming to do. But yeah, um, so they run up in there, and obviously a load of whisperers got bitten, got caught up, got hurt, injured, all that, and then um, mate. So like, which I suppose is kind of clever if you're a whisperer. Like they don't hit you in the head once you're bitten, and or or you know you're gonna die. They leave you to die to come back as a walker and you're one of their guardians. Wow, mate. No, I don't want to walk around doing that shit. Are you mad? You better stab me in the head and just end me. But Beta was like, You'll be one of the guardians. It's like, I don't want to be a guardian, bitch. You get me? I know that guy didn't want to be. You get me? As soon as he moved his head and his whole uh, neck was bleeding, he was like, just put him to sleep, B. And then you saw later on in the episode that dude is walking around. That is hype. Like that. So we didn't see no alpha this episode as well. It was just mainly beta, which is good because we didn't see too much of him uh, since coming back off the mid-season finale. So, because well, we didn't see much of him coming back from the mid-season break finale break. What's going on in the in the kingdom? It's like, do you know what? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. So I just be like, you know what, Ezekiel, you need to just like uh, give up this kingdom, man. So they get a letter. So obviously Jerry and that chick. Can't remember her name, skip my mind, but Jerry and that chick, they were on the, the ride, or they were, they were doing what they were doing, got jumped by these, got, got jumped by these guys, got sent the letter, and the letter was more or less a ransom, like, goes, yo, you can't use our roads unless you pay this, that, and the third, you get me? We're not sure what the ransom was, but it probably was like, we they want food, and probably doing the same type of thing Negan was doing, just with less violence, you get me? Because they sent a letter, they could have easily just killed Jerry there and then, and then that would have been that, but no, they they... Probably slapped him up a bit, gave him the letter, and being like, Yo, tell your king and your queen, this is what we want. And of course, Ezekiel's like, No, we ain't got enough to survive ourselves. Which is why, take your clerk to the fucking hilltop or the El Alexandria. Why are you, what are you holding on to in the kingdom? You guys could be stronger if you guys went to the community. You don't need to be separate. I, it don't make no sense. You get me? But anyways, Carol was like, yeah, well, let's go do this. But then they got to the spot. They found where the, the man them were. And Carol is cool. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, yeah, because the last few seasons, Carol goes on like Rambo. Carol is hard, you get me? She don't have none of it. If you try and mess with her, she will finish you. Ain't no long thing, you get me? But in this episode, she was like, she was very reserved. She was like, look, like, they wrote a letter. It was nicely written. Dick was like, mm, but what if they're not what you're thinking? And then she's like, well, then we murk them. You get me? And if there's anyone that I would stand by, if it ain't Rick, it's Carol. I swear, I ain't got no qualms. When I'm with Carol, I feel safe. I don't give a shit unless she's the one trying to kill me. Them. But yo, we find out they are the highway men, which is cool. I didn't mind that. You hear me? I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I, that could have been done in the six a year time skip. We couldn't. That, that all could have been resolved. I just feel like they were just trying to. Um, what's the word? I hate using the word filler. The filler in episodes, but I think they were just. Yeah, they were trying to stretch out the episode a bit. Because I'll be honest with you, the only thing I'm really interested in right now is the whisperers. They are smacking it. You get me? But um, yo, the other the other characters need something to do as well. I suppose. Oh my! And then you find out exactly why Connie done what she done because she knows the area she had supplies hidden you hear me just in case of emergencies which is real clever <laughs> so yeah boom good thing they followed her they got to take higher ground so they can see the whispers when they come and then walkers can't walk upstairs you hear me so if they go to the top floor anyone walking upstairs is a whisperer and they're gonna get smoked no long thing you hear me like carol went on her 
I know what it is, it's a split personality or something. I don't know what the fuck it is. But instead of being like, right, 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 let's kill everyone, she's like, do you want to watch a movie? I was like, oh, shit. But I'm going to be 100, like, let's be honest. Like, when she said that, at that moment, I was like, hmm. So, like, not only have they given you a job, protect the streets, and then you get access to the kingdom, you get access to the fair, but yo, now you get to watch movies. Like, this common, this let's be real. Like, you want to watch a movie, and when the end of the world is there, you want to watch a movie. So, yo, that was the deal breaker, and then boom. The highway of men it is, you get me? They come to the rescue with uh, Tara with Tara and all the others and yo, sick. But um, my main thing on this episode was Beta Baby. Beta Baby! Yes, Beta and Daryl, that dude is big. And he, he was pissed, man. After Daryl done what he done, he was pissed. But Daryl was like, yo, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. They don't care about any of you. You get me? Beta is the strongest, yeah, in your crew? Ah, uh, cool, we're gonna dead him quick. You get me? So, and Daryl was, like, I'll be honest with you, man. Like I said, I thought, I thought Daryl was gonna get his ass spanked, but then, nah, he didn't. But I will say this, though. I will say this. When Beta was kicking Daryl's ass, and Daryl got away, and when in, uh, yo, Connie had the little little fucking thing where she had all the supplies and that and whoop 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 I don't know how that would like, that's the thing I have uh, that's the, the, one of the issues I have with movies and uh, TV shows is that how like you don't hear shit like in that place it was just pure wood everywhere if he had got under that thing you would have heard it Daryl got away boom he managed to push the wood from the little um, the little ditch thing push the wood away Without anyone hearing it, jump in there, then pull the shit back without anyone hearing and seeing him. And then he managed, when Bear come in the room, so, oh, no one's here, whoop, whoop. He managed to slide it back to jump out. That was a madness, you get me? But um, I'll tell you what is a madness. It's how the fuck Bear survived that fool. How did Bear survive that fool? That's how you know, mate, that rule, like, I'm telling you, you need to run. Even though at the end, even though at the end he was like, Yo, we're gonna go to Alexandra, we're gonna get you patched up, Henry, and then we're gonna bounce, we're gonna go somewhere. I don't know, we're gonna go somewhere, you get me? Let's just hope that, um, well, no, we know what happens anyway, innit? The people that read the comic books knows what happened. I'm not gonna put that on, nah, do you know what, yeah, I am. Fuck it, I am. I don't give a shit. I'm putting it on Henry. Anything that happens to anyone, I'm putting it on Henry, man. Like, but just, uh, just. That guy is slaying my soul, you get me? And, um, bro, I'm just saying, like, he, they're going to go to Alexandria, and I just reckon that, um, yeah, Bayron is going to catch up, and then it's on, in it? Like, then it is on, you get me? But overall, it was a good episode. I like the new characters that they brought in, the Highwaymen, like, they talk like that, like, woo, woo, woo. They're cool, you get me, the fear's about to pop off. The, yeah, and then Beta, the Beta the Daryl situation, I, that fight, that fight was cool, man. I like that. The whole episode was flames, you get me, it was absolute fire, baby. Oh, yes. So, um, yeah, bruv, like, uh, I'm telling you, like, it goes, Angela Kang, I know I, I, I swear I've said this every single video, but I mean it, I mean it. Angela Kang smashed it, smashing it, killing it doing it good like you get me so boom there's a um a sneak peek out i do i've been looking for a trailer i ain't seen no fucking trailer like you get me but um we've got a sneak peek it's from the sneak peek from i seen it's like daryl and uh judith oh yeah grimes the sneak peek is called what would your dad do what would your dad do ah oh, just so what yeah just seen that yeah oh, fuck's sake man Miss Rick, man. I miss Rick. What would your dad do? Rick would have run up in the spot with the crew and just go murk everyone. You get me? But, because uh, Daryl's talking to Judith, I don't think he's going to say your dad's going to run up in the spot and spray the whole crew. He would just say, um, I think he's going to say something right, just like, because Rick, oh, fuck's sake, Rick. Rick is the man, bro. Rick is the motherfucking man. All right, cool. So, listen, let's jump to this sneak peek. Ah, oh, what would your dad do, man? Alright, uh, cool, let's just... Let's see what's happening. Is your pop in danger? I don't know. Is your dog in danger? But you have to anyways. Oh, let's get Henry. 
Then you just kind of tag them on. Who brought her here? I mean, she want to help. Not her. He wants to help. help too. Just not her. I know you do. Would you stay if my mom says it's okay? No. Why she keep moving? Who wants, right? Keeping you and RJ safe. RJ! That's what's important. They'll always be safe. No, it isn't. I mean, not just us. I've heard the stories. How everyone fought the saviors and women. We can do that again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're all the stories. That's what I'm saying, like, you ain't heard all the stories. Like, I, I, I want to know, like, I don't know if they're going to do it, but I want to know what happened in that six-year time skip. I want to know where the X is on, like, Daryl and Michonne have got an X on, the, on their back. Like, it's been, I don't know if, it, if, if it's been burning to them or it's a scar that they've done. I don't know, but it's just bait. Like, and there's other shit that's happened as well. I want to know what happened, man. I really do. What would my dad do? Woo! Woo! Oh, Daryl, tell her. Tell her what Rick Grimes will do. That's what I Daddy Grimes, baby! Look at that. Yeah, Rick. What's going on? What would Daddy Grimes do? Yeah, and she's like, that's what I thought. Yeah, because fucking Daddy Grimes is gonna go handle business. You get me? No one comes between him and his family. You know what I mean? Comedy presents scenes from next week's episode. Daryl's up to Kate. What about her? What about She's that lost. bitch, yo? She's she been in danger. What would my dad do? Whoa, 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 whoa. She got that motherfucking python. Ricky grabs his gun. I don't know. How did, how did she have Rick grabs his gun? Didn't he have it on him when he died? Hmm. What would my dad do? Dad will run up in the spot. Get me. Blood. Blood. This is why you don't mess with Michonne. Do you see that handy fucking sword play? She, ching, she's like a ninja, boy. Yeah, see. I'm telling you, she needs to be in some next, like, Jet Li movie or something. Yeah, see. But yo, um, yeah, man, Walking Dead is banging. You get? I could talk hours for the Walking. I could talk days for the Walking Dead. Walking Dead is the business. You get me? We could start from season one and go straight through to season nine. I'm telling you now, my friend. I love the Walking Dead. Bangers and mash. Get me? That's my reaction. Like, subscribe, notify. Yo, I want everyone to tell me. Well, who do who you, who you think is dying? End of the season. Bro, like, I'm telling you, like, psh, if you read the comic books, you know someone's gonna go. You're gonna know a bunch of people. You know half the cast is gonna disappear by the end of the season. You know what's gonna happen with the border wall. The border wall. You know what that is, right? If you don't, do your Googles. Do your researches. You get me? Educate yourself on TWD. Baby! Hmm.